Well, good day, everybody. Uh, I've just picked up a Gunston colour tune kit. Um, wanted to what, know what all the fuss was about. I've um, had a few of my mates and other people um, rave about them, so thought I'd go and get one. They're only, oh, I, can't, I can't remember what they are now, under 100 bucks, but um, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. This one's for a 14 millimeter plug. They do come in other sizes. Um, and they also sell adapters. If you want to buy one kit, you can buy adapters if you've got like 12 mil plugs on the old Hondas, etc. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Andy's Motorcycle Sessions. All right, so let's have a look at the contents of the box first. So this is a for a 14 millimeter plug. They're available in different sizes and you can buy adapters. Uh, so, contents of the box is this. We have one handbook and the kit itself. And it appears it's idiot proof. Yeah. Alright, now I've removed that pesky tape. <coughs> so, there is a copper washer, a little cleaning brush for the Colour Tune glass. The Colour Tune unit itself, now this is essentially uh, a spark plug and it has a glass um, filled centre so that you can see the flame in the cylinder. This is uh, an extension so that you can draw the, uh, get the plug lead away from the unit like so, so you've got good clear vision here and this is a little scope, the idea is that this clips on thusly and then you can use this periscope to see down into the into the plug. All right, so as I said, I've taken the bike for a run around the block to warm it up. So let's go and uh, throw this in one of the cylinders and actually have a look at what the fuel mixture looks like. All right, so I've fitted the color tune plug and screwed the lead on and plugged it into the plug cap. So now I guess I'll start it and then. Um, We'll have a look at the colour. What we're looking for here is a nice Bunston blue. If it's orange, it's too rich, and I need to lean the, the carburetor pilot circuit back. Uh, and if it's white, it means it's too lean. So let's have a look. Well, I discovered that GoPro cameras and microphones do not like high-tension leads. Uh, I had the... I checked the video, luckily, and discovered that, uh, yeah, it didn't like it. So all you got was this. So uh, I'm trying a different microphone. I'm on plug number four now. And uh, I'll just uh, start it up and see if this is any 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 better. Okay, you can see it's pretty orange. Just lean it off a bit. Okay, we got blue. Okay, hopefully that worked. Um, so there you go, the pilot circuits were quite rich on, on this bike. Um, actually this one on this side wasn't too bad. Uh, one, two and three were worse. Uh, Milton did lean them off a bit for me, uh, the initial tune, but this engine's been uh, rebuilt since. So uh, I probably need to get these carbs rebalanced again and then um, have another look at it. But yeah, look, you know, nice, uh, Nice and easy to use and actually pretty quick. You, you can see instantly, um, you don't have to try and hear for a change in engine note. 
which isn't always easy across multiple cylinders, especially for someone uh, with not the best hearing in the world like myself. So um, I guess, you know, proofs in the pudding. Uh, I'll ride it for a little while and see how it looks, but um, just do that to all the other carburetors now and uh, they should be reasonably happy around that idle circuit. There's not much you can do above idle, uh, sorry, above your pilot jet without ch moving needle positions or changing your main jet sizes. And just from the quick uh, run I had there, they all look to be pretty good. So you want that nice Bunsen blue. You don't want white. That's lean and, and rich is orange. So, yep, Gunson colour tune. It works. Um, about a hundred bucks, I think they are. So not bad value if you uh, just want to try and tune that, that fuel circuit in. If you like me, I worked in uh, in, in breweries for 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 decades and and very loud packaging lines. And my hearing's not the best. So um, when I try and listen to changes in the engine, that, and that I often struggle on those fine lines. So for me, that's uh, that's quite a useful tool. All right, well, thanks for tuning in to Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Um, make sure you stay tuned, come back and subscribe, and we'll be back for more. See you later.